This post contains spoilers from the season 4 finale of Netflix's Love is Blind. The curtain has closed for now. On another season of Love is Blind. The popular Netflix reality series returned for its fourth season in March, introducing fans to five couples from the pods, Tiffany Pennywell and Brett Brown, Bliss Poritizade and Zach J. Goitowski, after he and Irina Solomonova mutually agreed to call off their engagement, Chelsea Griffin and Quay Mapaya, Michael Lucy and Paul Pettin, and Jacqueline Jackie Bonds and Marshall Glaze. As with previous seasons, fans enjoyed watching the couple's ups and downs, questioning the participants' second chances and closure conversations with other pod connections, and contemplating yet again whether love is truly blind. For some pairs, the answer was a resounding yes for others, not so much. Scroll down to learn the fate of the remaining five couples. As fans learned in episode 10, Jackie and Marshall never made it to the altar after deciding to break off their engagement following multiple intense arguments during their lib journey. Marshall, 27, tried to make things work with Jackie, 27, until their final moments, even going tuxedo shopping with his male co-stars. However, Jackie was seen skipping her wedding dress fitting and later reconnecting with Josh Demas over coffee. Jackie and Josh ultimately agreed to be together after Josh, 31, confessed his love for her. She then ended her engagement with Marshall. I don't want to be with you anymore, she told Marshall. I just can't be with you. That is very hurtful, Marshall responded, later adding, I chose wrong. I wish her nothing but the best. If that's with Josh, do your thing. Good luck. Chelsea and Quaim's journey to the altar was one with many challenges, beginning in Mexico when Quaim, 33, had a flirty exchange with his ex Micah in front of Chelsea, 31. After the pair made it past that moment, things got tricky for them again when Quaim's mom failed to show support for his decision to get married on Love is Blind. He spoke candidly about how much his mom meant to him and how much he wanted her to attend their wedding, which appeared to be one of the biggest issues heading into their big day. Though his mother was not on board with his whirlwind marriage and did not attend the nuptials, Quaim chose Chelsea in the end. At the altar, they both said yes to each other. I love you and I am ready for the most beautiful adventure of life with you as your wife forever, Chelsea said. Quaim told his bride, I love the way you make me feel. I love when we disagree because it makes us come back together and let us know how strong we are. We get stronger by the moment, we get closer by the day. Micah, 27, and Paul, 29, also initially faced some bumps in the road when Micah's interactions with Quaim raised some eyebrows during their Mexico trip. Micah ultimately chalked it up to her flirty personality, and the pair moved forward in their romance. However, Micah's friends did not appear to be fully on board with the relationship, with one friend Shelby, in particular, frequently vocalizing her hesitations about their engagement. Micah and Paul were also not on the same page when it came to their long-term goals. He didn't like Micah's idea to bounce back and forth between Seattle and her home in Arizona. She also wasn't interested in living at Paul's Seattle apartment, instead suggesting they get another place together. The uncertainty from their loved ones, combined with the practicality of marrying someone so quickly, carried into their wedding day when Paul and Micah admitted they still weren't sure about saying I do. Sadly, things didn't work out for the two. After Micah was asked if she would take Paul as her husband, she told the environmental scientist at the altar that the best thing I can do for us is to give you the opportunity to answer first. Paul then told Micah, I love you, but I don't think we can choose each.